spring holiday, I like maybe there's a, a graduation gift you want to give, Mother's Day gift, a teacher's gift, um, just a gift, or maybe you just want to decorate for yourself. So we're going to go ahead and so show you. We did the uh, filters, coffee filters, but now remember the paper towels that we did, right? The little half sheets of paper towels. So you would take a half sheet of paper towel or cut a full sheet in half, and then you would cut that in half, just like this. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just fold it down like this with some glue. So what I did was I dyed the color, cut it in half, and then I took some glue. You can use either a glue stick or some glue like this. Let's see if I can cut this open. Maybe I have one open already like this. Nope. Don't you hate when you have dried up glue? So I'm going to cut it open. And what we're going to do, ask your parents to open this for you. Do not do what I'm doing. Okay. I'll just use a glue stick. So I'm going to take my glue stick. That's hopefully not dried up. Ha, ha This one's not dried up. And basically go along the edge of my paper towel. Remember, let's pretend they're colored, right? Because the other one's not dry yet. And then I'm just going to fold it over. And I don't care if it's straight. I, in fact, I kind of want it a little wiggly woggly. Okay. So basically I fold it over, creating like a hem. Okay. And I'm going to do that on both pieces. So I've got two hems right here. You see that? I think she wants something. I don't know what she wants. Okay. Now I'm going to take, and this is what we're going to create, our little roses. So you can create red roses or pink roses, um, but we're going to create a whole bouquet of these. This is so simple. And all I'm going to do is take my stick, whether it's a, this is a chopstick that I just painted. Um, I painted this green. And all I'm going to do is start on an angle. Do you see how I'm on an angle like this? So it's not like this, so I'm not rolling it straight. It's on an angle, and I'm going to, hold on a second, I'm turn out oh, oh, my glue. I'm gonna tuck the edge like this, so it's on an angle, and I'm going to just roll, the, roll very loosely and wobbly. Loosely and wobbly. You see, I'm kind of gather. Oh, you know what? I did it the opposite way. Sorry. Repeat. Stick. This is the good side. This is the bad side. This is the edge side. The edge side should go up. So, again, tuck on a diagonal. I'm going to move that stick down. And I'm going to start gathering the bottom. Gathering. And you see how it's, I'm just twisting. Gathering, gathering, gathering. Yay! All right. So it's loose. It's not so tight. Yeah? Cool. And then I'm going to do my second one. Remember... This is the inside, this is the outside. The fold side is up. I'm gonna go ahead and start gathering. We're rolling to Wiston. Meow. Ooh, what a pretty rose. Here we go. Look at there. I like it. Okay. So it just looks just like this. And then now what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Mm, let's grab our tape. If you had floral tape in a perfect world, you know, a Dollar Tree world in the craft section, but we're not going anywhere. No sirree, Bob. Who's Bob? Do you know any Bobs in your life? All right. You know Joe's? Okay, cool. You know a Joe? But I haven't heard that no siree Joe, right? It's a Bob. 
All right, so now I've got two of my roses. So that's how you create a fabulous paper towel rose. Now you see this tape? Are we gonna leave it like that? No, ma'am. No, sir. We're gonna either paint that or we could put some construction paper green on it or I would put ribbon or a raffia, right? And then we're gonna put all of that into a vase, a vase, a vase, a vase. Yes. So I cannot wait to see your paper towel, roses. Andale.